first of uh, a new event, uh, it's the, the thing's called the Guitar Association. Uh, it's a once a month event funded by the university where we're looking to bring in some real top acts right into the heart of the campus, let the students get access to them, but also bring in uh, some members of the public just to show them what UCLan's about in terms of music. <laughs> We've tried in, in the initial meetings and, and hopefully succeeded to have um, a, a wide range of different acts to start with. So our, our first uh, get together we had uh, a blues act called The Long Trick um, and also uh, Aaron Stainthorpe from My Dying Bride. Uh, so Aaron's work is much more in extreme uh, heavy metal. We have a kind of mixture of death metal, gothic metal, doom metal, and we, we mix those all together, which made a kind of unique sound. Um, and I think that was what appealed to the record label when they came uh, to watch us. Um, they liked the way we worked, they could see we were enthusiastic about the music, and we, we weren't just writing songs to get on the radio to make money. We were writing like 12 minute songs in Latin, you know, to be weird and wonderful, and that's the kind of thing we wanted to do. So I was a little bit worried it would be kind of generic and like, oh, what are your influences and things like that. But he was, uh, I think Simon asked the right kind of questions, you know. Yeah, you know, I would like to do more sort of events like this where you can try and at least tell people what it's like. I'm not sure I can help people with which decisions to make um, because that's more of a feeling than a, a black and white decision. Um, but at least I can tell them what we've been through and how we got to where we are um, and then leave that with them and they can take it from there. And a few tips on uh, the do's and don'ts of being on the road and you know working with your record companies and things like that. You know. It was really a really enriching little interview. Yeah. really concentrated more on uh, jazz and funk music and we had Yolanda Charles and John Etheridge come up, both came up from London just especially to do the session for us. And in terms of the rhythm, the reason I can talk like this and play the riff and um, mostly play it right is because I can just sit there and play it and I'm not listening to myself play the bass line the whole time. I'm like doing that thing you do with your eyes when you look over there and then you look over there. Yolanda's background is is definitely in session work and that's something that a lot of students were interested in pursuing. So it was nice that they could actually speak to somebody firsthand who was working with people like, uh, well, she has worked with Robbie Williams, she's toured with uh, Paul Weller, she's, you know, based right in the heart of the, the session community in London and she's always out doing that kind of work. Um, develop a, a, a tough exterior because you get a lot of knocks on the way and you've got to have a lot of self-belief and you've got to practice hard so that there's no doubt in your own talent because you've worked hard at it because everybody can get good if they work hard enough. Um, and to keep trying but be realistic. If you get a l very bad response to your music, often it may be a case you need to look at something again. Maybe your writing or your singing or your performance needs to work. So take, take advice from people you trust. <laughs> John's got a background that goes right back to the, the kind of British blues boom where, with it, that he was very much uh, interested in when he was starting out. Um, and then it weaves a, a line through uh, experimental music, through bands like The Soft Machine, um, into music, more kind of what most people would think of as jazz music. But he's worked with artists like he toured for a long time with Stefan Grappelli, he toured with Nigel Kennedy uh, when Nigel did the uh, Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> To, to keep building uh, the repertoire of concerts, keep widening the range of artists that we've had in. Uh, some of these uh, offers that we've had for people to come in and play, to, to, uh, to work with some of those people. And really just to keep doing what we've, we, we've started doing. Very, very early days yet. Um, 
but from the response we've had so far and the positivity we've had about the event, uh, we think we're on to a winner here.